We welcome in the general manager of the Mets, Omar Minaya. Omar, how are you? Uh, how are you, Michael? I'm Doing fine. Good. How are you feeling these days? You all right now? Uh, well, I'm feeling fine, yeah, from uh, last time we spoke, of course. I, yeah, you had the I flu. Was, I, I was down uh, down for the count uh, that time. But, no, I've recuperated so far, and I'm here sitting in my office, and uh, I've got my strength back and uh, ready to go. Now it's not you down for the count. It's a bunch of your star players as they continue to fall by the wayside. You ever seen anything like this? No, I've never have. I've never seen nothing like this in the sense of, uh, you know, at least you know the, the quality of the players being out for the time that they're being out. And so it is a challenge, uh, you know, and we all have challenges along the way, and this is a challenge for us as an organization, it's a challenge for me as a general manager, we all have to kind of uh, uh, move forward. Omar, uh, is your pro- what kind of prognosis can you give the fans on uh, Beltran and then Reyes, uh, specifically on where they are and how long you think they'll be out? Well, you know, with Beltran, uh, you know, as you know, yesterday we he was diagnosed, uh, the MRI diagnosed a um, a bruise that had increased in size uh, twice uh, where it had been, you know, before it was like um, a month ago we MRI'd it, so the size of it increased twice, uh, twice the size. Uh, we Look, uh, right now he's going to be on crutches. Uh, he's probably going to, you know, we're looking at a, a, a 15-day DL, and but we just can't put no time frame on that because we have to see how, you know, uh, how the treatment uh, that they're giving him, that, that treatment that is that new treatment where they give you, you'll kind of inject your own blood into it, the bone. Uh, that's one. And, of course, the other thing about that is, is going to be, uh, you know, uh, he's going to have some orthotics uh, put on uh, some shoes. You know, best case scenario is 15 days, but I can also tell you that I'm not going to tell you that he's going to be back within the 15 days. So he could be, uh, maybe he could be at least a couple of weeks past 15 days without any question, right? You know, I, I said to myself, look, if we are able to get beyond, the, if we get him for the second half past the All Star break, okay. I'll sign up for that right now. All right, you know? and what about Reyes? Reyes, of course, is day today, meaning that uh, he's going to go out there today and uh, catch some ground balls. Uh, his issues have been once he gets he gets going, everything is fine. But once you can put him in game action and he has to do that explosion that he needs to do, whether it's running the bases or that type of uh, 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 action, uh, you know, he, he's he's gotten hurt again. So right now we're back to you know where he's close to catching ground balls. Let's see where he is. But I couldn't tell you that he's a week away. I could tell you he's going to be more than a week. All right. So you might be looking at the All-Star game for both of those guys. Anything you can update that's tangible on Delgado yet or too early? No, it's too early, but all the reports are very good. I talked to Delgado today. Uh, all the reports are very good that he's coming along very well. But, you know, we did say 10 weeks, at least 10 weeks uh, from the actual uh, surgery, and we're still going to stay in that area 10 weeks, and we'll see how it goes. All right, Maine, uh, you got a good report on, right? Yeah, we got a good report on Maine, and we got a good report on Oliver. Oh, you uh, did? Maine okay. uh, through yesterday uh, in Port St. Lucie, and uh, did not show no, uh, no discomfort, uh, show arm strength. Um, this morning had just normal soreness. All those things are good with Maine, and he's probably going to be um, either throwing a bullpen tomorrow. Uh, we're still going to talk about that, uh, but he's scheduled to pitch on Saturday. We haven't decided where he's going to pitch yet, whether he's going to do it in the major leagues, but he might be one minor league outing away or possibly pitch in the major leagues. And how about uh, Perez? Perez, the same thing. Perez, you know, show arm strength, uh, the knee, which is one of the number one thing we need to kind of calm down, uh, was, you know, was did not affect him at all, was did not bothering him, and this morning felt no, uh, just normal soreness. So, uh, you know, even though he's a little further away than, than John Maine is. All right, you're 13 games away from the halfway point of the season. You're a couple of weeks away from the All-Star break. You're going through a rough stretch of games here because you're playing good teams from now to the All-Star break. You only have one game against the team that's under 500. That would be the Pittsburgh makeup. You got a lot of first place teams that you're going to see, including the Yankees. Uh, when you look at it from that standpoint, is the goal right now to just tread water, or are you going to try and see if you can help this club in some way get through this couple of weeks? Well, I think the best thing to we have to, first of all, the goal is to stay healthy with the guys we have. That's okay. the number one thing. 
The second thing has got to be, you know, to let's continue to uh, play competitive baseball. Let's continue to win our share of games and hopefully win our series here or there. Um, you know, we're two games over 500. Mike, I'm a big believer of the 500 and anything above the 500, you're in contention. So we try to get, for me, if we can stay anywhere between five to ten games over 500, I will sign up for that. Uh, but the key is to stay over 500 as much as you can and hopefully uh, wait for the reinforcement to come. What's better for you, Omar? What do you keep more of an eye on? The fact that you're a game and a half behind the Phillies in the division or the fact that you now have four or five teams a game or two ahead of you for the wild card? Which one is one that you keep your eye on more? You know, I, I, I really – it's almost like I don't keep my eye too much on other teams. I keep my eyes on what we're doing. And that being said, of course, I don't think nobody's going to run away with it, you okay. know. So I think if, you know, if we can just play our game, stay over that 500 barrier and stay close, you know, uh, you know, as further, as further north from 500, because I don't care what other teams do. The bottom line is you want to get in. And I think if you're over the 500 and you are within striking distance of a streak, then you're going to be, you know, right where you want to be.